welcome back. Today we have a nail shaping video. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name's Amber. We do beauty, fashion, and shopping videos on my channel. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe before you leave. I have had a couple broken nails lately, so it is time to shape them up and I'm going to shape them into shorties. So this is a nail shaping video, natural nails, shorties edition, if you will. So I'm pulling out the different tools that I use when I'm doing my nails, shaping my nails, prepping my nails, and getting everything ready. So here's the current state of my nails. As we kind of go through the video, I'll tell you a little bit of a backstory on the recent nail damage that um, I experienced and have kind of been recovering from. Uh, but recently, I have just been kind of keeping my nails short, letting them grow out, keeping them short, letting them grow out. Um, and they were getting healthy enough to put polish and start doing my nails again, but uh, then I broke a couple. So change of plans, I decided to go ahead and start to shave them into shorties and then go ahead and rock shorties and go from there. So what I did was just use the clippers to clip off the little bit of the slanted edge on this nail. And now I'm using the file on the softer side not the rougher side, to just kind of create that flat edge that I like on my nails. Now I'm going to go ahead and just trim up the rest of my nails on this hand to match the same length that I'm going for on that thumbnail. So I took my most kind of shortest broken nail, got it down to the size that it was going to be at, and now I'm making the rest of my nails kind of match my shortest nail. That way they all will look the same and it won't be glaringly evident that I have a crazy broken nail. So I'm just pointing out we have the rough side and the smoother side of the file. I'm going to be using the softer kind of smoother side pretty much throughout this entire video. Here I'm placing it very straight and flat against the tip of my nail and I'm going back and forth just to get that very flat edge. Now I'm going to start from the side wall of my nail where the nail connects down to the skin. I'm going to start there and I'm slowly going to start to angle towards that tip. So as you saw when I started, I started out kind of flat against my side wall. Then I came up and started to get that angle that I want to bring in the tips of my nails. So I like to have a flat edge and a coffin shape to my nails. So not too dramatic, but a slight coffin shape inward and that I feel like really gives it the best shape for my hands, my fingers, and my preferences. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and that's how I'm going to walk you through the shaping process. Now on this side I did have quite a dramatic um, incline I guess you could say or um, kind of slope in so I didn't have to do too much filing what I really had to do in the challenge on this nail was getting the other side in the right place and they're not going to match on this one so you'll see once I take my nail buffer here and I'm just buffing all the edges and the top of my, my nail just to give it a nice clean look and once I've gotten that nice and, and cleaned up and filed down and smooth, you'll see that they're not going to match exactly on this nail. And that's okay. This one's broken. It's not going to look perfect. But once you get it shaped up, get it cleaned up, prepped, it's a polish on it, you are not even going to be able to tell. So here is the worst off broken nail now that it's been shaped up. And now that we've gone through one, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process a little bit slower on the rest of the nails. I start with the file flat against the tip of my nail and I create that flat edge that I like. Then I start on the side wall and I slowly start to bring that corner into that coffin shape. And I'm slowly starting to, to kind of file down that pointy edge and bring in that slope. And you can do it as dramatic or as wide, I guess, as, as you would like. If you have longer nails, you can really take this coffin shape into kind of a pointier slope. Or if you have shorties, I feel like the more gradual slope, just a, a hint of the coffin shape really helps to um, bring out the natural kind of beauty of the short nails. <clears throat> 
I do have another shaping video where my nails were quite a bit longer. I'll go ahead and link that in the description box below. If you do have a little bit longer uh, length on your nails right now, you might find that a little more helpful just because it's going to mimic what you are working with versus what I've got here, my little shorties. So now that I've got this filed, um, buffed, and I just took a uh, brush and wiped away, brushed away any of that excess, you can really tell the difference and the nails are looking really nice now that they're shaped up. So as I go through and just kind of file and shape here, I will tell you a little bit of the backstory on how I got some nail damage. So if you watch a lot of my videos, I use the Amelie brand from Amazon Builder Gel. I've been using that pretty much for probably about the past year. And then I toy with different gel products, dip products and things over top of that. It just works really well for me. I was using dip powder for a long time, but just due to time constraints, I need to kind of get in, get out and get a manicure done in a shorter amount of time now, specifically because I do my nails so often, it just works best for me. So I've transitioned to gel and builder gel gives me that strength underneath and that great layer. And then it just kind of lifts a little bit after a week and I'm able to peel it off. Is that the most healthy thing for my nails? Probably not, <laughs> but neither is acetone or any of the other methods, really. It's kind of the, the what evil, or pick your poison, right? Which evil works best for you? And that's the one that works best for me, just in all honesty. That's what you're going to get here on my channel. Um, do as I say, not as I do, right? But in this instance, uh, the builder gel or the, the gel color, whatever it is, it is when it cured, it started pulling and making my nail lift off the cuticle. And so I got some really intense nail damage. I don't know if that was from the builder gel, from my light, from my method. I honestly don't know because I've been using this builder gel for so long and have never had those issues. They make a HEMA free version now. So I think what I'm going to do is just toss what I have, try the newer version, um, not use the color that I used the last time and just try to avoid that. So um, otherwise I have let my nails heal up and now I'm ready to get them ready for some polish. So just in time, just before I was ready to do a mani, of course I broke a nail and then I broke another nail. So that's what led me to go ahead and get these, these nails shaped up. And based on the length now, they're going to be shorties, but after they've healed up a little bit, everything's been great. They've strengthened up and back to really healthy and natural. And I'm ready to get some polish back on my nails. So here I am just finishing up buffing this nail and getting that shape really well. On this nail, I really didn't have a whole lot of damage. Um, it was mostly just on my thumb and my pinky for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and file up this last nail here. And like I was telling you on the first couple, I'm just going to get that flat edge. I'm going to start at the sidewall. I'm going to start bringing in that slope or that coffin shape. And then I'm slowly going to start to bring that nail file at a sharper angle and angle towards the tip of the edge of my nail. Once I've got the shape where I like it, that's when I run the buffer over the whole nail. I run the buffer over the sidewalls, over the tip, and take out any of that sharpness. I don't want to go around poking anybody uh, with these sharp edges. Now that I've got that nice sharp edge, I'm just taking and smoothing it off a little with that buffing block. And then I very lightly buff the top of my nail. I don't want to take too much off the nail surface, but just to get rid of that top layer, get them ready and prepped for gel and really get them looking nice. And here's a side by side after prepping one hand and not the other. And you can see what a big difference that makes. They just look so nice now. Last step really in this process is just going to be pushing back my cuticles and trimming those. I use a medical, a medical, oh my goodness, a metal cuticle pusher. Um, these can be really intense on your nails. So if you are new to this or new to this method, I would say start with something that's um, wood, glass, silicone, something that's a little more gentle. I like this because it's very effective at those kind of stubborn spots, but I'm very um, used to using this. So I'm kind of a pro at the metal, so I know how hard to push. So if you're going to use a metal one like this, they work really well. Just use a light hand. 
because you really can push in and damage your, your nail if you go too hard on this. I really think that's the, the big theme with anything that I've learned in my nail journey so far is start with a light touch with a light hand. You know, your nails, your cuticles, the skin around your nails is very sensitive and we can damage that in the products that we use, but we can also repair and we can heal with a little bit of time. The body is resilient, right? So just uh, use a light touch and, and take care. So now I'm just going to, now that I push those cuticles back, I'm just going to take my nippers and I'm going to clip that dry skin that has formed uh, where I pushed the cuticles back. Sometimes um, I'll get a little bit of dry skin down the sidewalls, and so I might trim a little bit of that off. Some nails I'll push back like this one, and they don't even need to be trimmed at all. So if they don't need to be trimmed, I leave them be, and if I do need to trim it off, then I do. Now I am just going to take the brush and really get in there, get any of that nail dust, um, dry skin, or anything off. And with nail magic, I've now completed the other hand. And here we are with our new shaped up shorties looking good. And the last step, now that I've washed my hands and cleaned my nails up, I'm just going to put a little bit of cuticle oil on them. I try to do nail prep and nails on different days. I really try to give my nails uh, the time that they deserve on prep. I feel like it makes the health of my nails and the final product once I'm done doing my nails a lot better. So I'll typically put the cuticle oil on, um, you know, go to bed, let my nails, my skin rest up and heal. And then the next day they'll be fresh, dry, and ready for gel polish. So speaking of gel polish, if you are a fan of nail tutorials, make sure you subscribe before you leave. I do a lot of nail and beauty tutorials. I actually have a collab coming up with Madam Glam. They sent me some of their gel polishes, their base coat, top coat, and their lamp. And so I am currently rocking one of their colors. You are not going to want to miss that video. Here are the final shaped up shorties. I really, really love how they came out. Even looking so short, I got a lot of shape to them and they really, really look good. Thank you so much for watching my video. Don't forget to check the description box below for some cool links and other videos. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.